Hello and welcome to Smitty's. I am a wood cutting fanatic who loves to run a chainsaw. I run alcohol chainsaws, ported chainsaws, I race chainsaws, and I even run the occasional video. Now remember, I cannot do this without you. You're everything to the channel, so please remember, subscribe, give that thumbs up, leave that comment. Today, we are going to have a lot of fun. So how you doing? Hey, today, you know, I kind of, well, let's just say I did a build and I never turned the camera on. Um, it was one of those moments. I was just, I was kind of looking at the saw and I was like, you know what? I wonder what it's going to take. So I pulled a few, few bolts out and I was like looking at this and I was looking at that. And I was like, you know what? I could do that right now. And I just basically kept progressing along that way. And here I am sitting with a, uh, a built saw. Now, the thing is, this is not going to be the finished results, or it shouldn't be. Um, the numbers are not where I was ex wanting to put them. So the roof, the exhaust roof is a little lower than I was, you know, planning on. The transfer or the blow down number is lower than I would, you know, typically want to run. Um, it did, I did do a decent amount of machine work. So the intake timing is a bit more than I would typically set up. Um, so, you know, everything's not set 100% just yet. Basically, I'm curious to see if this thing's going to hang a ring. And that's why I put it together. Um, why continue if it's going to hang a ring? You know what I mean? I went pretty far with it. Um, so, I'm expecting it to hang a ring, to be honest with you. I'm expecting it to hang a ring. So, I basically threw it together wherever the numbers were at that point that I was working on it. That's what I'm running with. And I'm going to see if it hangs a ring, blows up or whatever. Um, and then, you know, if it actually survives, then I will go ahead and continue working on it and taking it further. Now, this is my Husky 50 with the Partner 5000 top end. Um, it's got the Partner 5000 top end, the, the piston, the cylinder, machined it. All that stuff. I think I pulled 40 or so thousandths out of the squish band. Uh, or combustion chamber. I can't remember. But it was it was at least 40 thousandths out of the combustion chamber. A whole lot off the, the base. I mean, I did a bit of work to it. So, you know. Now this saw, I had never tried to start it. This 50. So I don't know if the carb's any good. I don't know if the coil's any good. Or any of that stuff I just kind of slapped it together and I'm at that point of trying to start it for the first time and I wanted to turn the camera on just in case it you know fired for a split second and blew up I wanted to try to catch the moment you know what I mean um, if it actually starts and runs and idles and all that stuff it'll be great but you know I don't have a carb kit here so if this carb doesn't pull fuel then you know I'll have to get a carb kit um, it is the 50 carburetor. It's all that stuff. I just built the top end and threw it together. So, yeah. What do you say? We try to start this saw up. It's either going to hang a ring or blow up or run for, for the most part. So, if it actually runs, and we'll keep progressing this video and take it to wood. Um, so, you know, we'll see how she turns out. We're either going to have a blowed up saw or... Uh, one that hung a ring or we're going to be cutting wood. So, yeah, let's find out. So what do you say we try to fire this thing? I'm going to try to get the angle of the camera here for you so you can see it. There it is. It's a partner 5000 top end. I did machine the top end. Machine, you know, I did all that stuff. Um, I did a few things here that uh, they say you shouldn't do. So... You know, uh, if she blows, she blows. We're gonna find out. And there's only one way to find out. I got tired of, you know, being safe. So I'm gonna try to blow up some saws, basically. That's my goal here. So what do you say we try to start it? And let's first start out by seeing if this carb will even pull fuel. Now, I don't have a choke for it. That might be an issue. We'll see what happens. But I don't have a choke. Compression, I mean, you know, uh, you can probably tell. 
just got some compression. Let me try to get this camera a little better for you. How's that? Let's see what happens. It's usually fires. I have no chokes, so we we'll might have to figure something out there. Let me just, uh, let me do a little prime and see what happens. All right, now let's try it with a prime. Is it on? Yeah. All right, I feel like I should have tried. All right, so we got an issue. So, appears as though I got an issue. The piston is hitting the spark plug. It closed. It closed it. So, I'm trying to get the washer off another spark plug and try to double up those washers. All right, first hurdle uh, spark plugs. Now, I put it, I just basically doubled the washers up, and let's see what happens this time. So I just spent all this time here revving the snot out of it and it didn't pop. So, hey, you know, we might get lucky. Let's, uh, let me see if I can get a bar and chain together. All right, let me see if I can get a bar and chain together and we'll give it a run in some wood. Alrighty. All right, we're ready to go here. Um, the chain's not gonna ever be 100% on this until I replace the chain. Basically, it's a used chain, and whoever had it before believed in cutting wood and never sharpening the chain. Basically rounded the corner back the whole way. So no matter what I do, I'm never going to have a great corner on it, you know. So it's not going to be perfect. Uh, we just want to see how she pulls in the wood, though. You know what I mean? See how she runs. It's the first time. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did. Machine work wise, uh, I believe there's around 40 to 50 thousands taken out of the, 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 the combustion chamber. And I think I took about 70 thousands off of the base, which is why the intake timing is so high. Um, I did raise the exhaust roof back up. It's sitting at, I think, if I remember correctly, it's right around 102. Um, but I put a little bit of a taper on the piston afterwards. So it probably, you know, just a little, little bit higher than that now. But uh, the lowers, I did 
I, I had to open up the lowers considerably. The window on the piston uh, didn't line up very well with the lowers. So I opened the lowers up enough to where the windows had good even, you know, good flow. Basically, you know, matching up the ports and everything. Um, I did not do anything to the uppers. The reason is because my 90 is physically too large. Basically, I did all this work and I figured at the end that I would take my 90 and uh, get in there and do the uppers. And I, once I got to that point, you know, I had everything else done. I put my 90 in there and it was it's physically too large to do my uppers. So I'm going to have to buy another 90, something that's a bit smaller so that I could do the uppers on this. Right now, the blowdown is a lot because I did all the machining and it really lowered the transfers. So we might run into an issue here where we don't have enough duration on the transfers. Um, but at least we got it this far. We can give it a test run and see how she does at this point. Alrighty, let's see what happens. <laughs> So she's actually running better than I thought it would. Uh, you know, because I never touched the uppers and any of that stuff. Uh, so the blowdown on this is real, real long. Uh, I think it's bordering, I think it's sitting close to 28, uh, 28 degrees or so. And she actually seems to like it a lot. So I don't know if I might, I may not do anything to those uppers. She's, she's pulling 12.7 in the cut right there. That's about where she tuned in at. And that's very respectable. Um, I'd like to get just a little bit more. And I mean, I've not done a timing advance yet. I've not put a stack filter set up on it yet. It's still running the stock carburetor. So... You know, I might be able to get a little bit more out of it just from doing 
playing with those three things. So yeah, we may just, just go ahead and leave this port work the way it is. It pulls with great torque. Uh, I'm not complaining about the torque at all. Everything about it seems to be great. Um, she's cutting it around 12.7 in the cut with that bar buried. Uh, now I could drop it lower if I pushed harder. Um, if I let it free rev, or if I would let it eat wood by itself, it would be over 13,000. Um, that's me applying a little bit of pressure. So, you know, if I would let it self-feed, it would self-feed over 13,000. Um, that's just, you know, me applying some pressure because of this chain. It's not 100%, you know what I mean? And she's tuning up at right around 12.7 in the cut. Uh, so, yeah, I'm quite happy. Now, the idle is a little finicky. She seems to be a little high, strong or something. She just, the idol is just a little bit on the fin finicky side. You got to kind of play with it to find that sweet spot. It, it wants to be, it wants to be a little rich. If you let it lean out, if you lean out the, 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 the if you lean it out a little bit at idle, um, it just, it doesn't like it. It wants a, a fatter tune. So, you know, we'll run it a little fatter. Uh, we'll just kind of see how she goes from here out. Um, I'm actually quite happy. The, uh, partner 5,000 top end on the Husqvarna 50. She tuned up at 12,700 RPM. Uh, I mean, it's, it was going 12.5, 12.8, 12.9, but you know, if I would let it self feed, it would definitely hit the, the 13,000 RPM range, which is respectable out of a 50 CC saw this size of bar, you know? Um, that's definitely a very respectable running saw right there. Uh, not something I would go play with cutting firewood every day, but you know, something I can go take the saw fest. Absolutely. I would have no problem taking this saw as it is to saw fest right now. I would not hesitate at all. So, you know, and that's kind of what this, this saw was for. It's something for me to take the saw fest and play with. And I think a little timing advance, some air filter modifications, maybe a carburetor or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. But maybe we can squeeze another 100 RPM or two out of it. You know what I mean? But uh, in fact, for as much torque as it has, I could, could probably try to push the RPM up just a little bit. You know, maybe take another degree or two out of the, the roof or whatever. But or something about having that torque. You know what I mean? You can... Uh, heck i could even go to an eight pin you know uh there's 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 something there so yeah we, we may, maybe we'll t do some testing with an eight pin as well but hey well uh i hope you enjoyed this one and we'll catch you on the next one later